Okay, so the two-way conversation continues. You comment or ask, we respond, and we try our best to answer. It's one of the tenets of the show. You text, email, phone call, we'll listen to whatever. After our story on the silver maple being removed from the front lawn of the, of the assay office yesterday, we got a question about another group of trees in the city of trees. Joe says, I would love to hear more about the moon trees that made it to Idaho. That was news back in the 1970s. Well, far out, Joe. It was also news back in 2015, if you can believe that. No, the trees Joe's asking about aren't from outer space, but the Apollo 14 mission did take hundreds of seeds to the moon and back. Seven years ago, we spoke with the principal at Lowell Elementary School and at an arborist with the city of trees about one of these moon trees that was planted right here in Boise. In our country's third trip to the moon, the Apollo 14 mission was known for two things, sending the oldest astronaut into space and that astronaut, 47-year-old Alan Shepard, hitting a golf ball on the moon. Miles and miles and miles. But the 1971 voyage was also known for what was being carried in the command module above, tree seeds. After 34 orbits around the moon, those 400 or so seeds were brought back to Earth to germinate. Saplings were sent all over the country and the world, with one planted here at Lowell Elementary in 1977. It's kind of special to be one of the few uh, institutions that has one of the moon trees. However, Lowell's loblolly pine is now in peril. It's pretty extreme, yeah. Brian Jorgensen is Boise's city forester and says the lack of water and excessive heat has put the moon tree under a lot of stress, inviting an infestation of insects. The insects light up when they find a tree that's under stress and they uh, send a shout out in a form of pheromones to all their buddies who uh, congregate and start attacking the tree at the same time. Seeping sap is the tree's natural defense against said attack from the sequoia pitch moth. With the amount of pitch coming out of this tree, I'd, I'd have to say that the insect has seen some success. But thanks to the assistance of the North End Neighborhood Association and Idaho Tree Preservation, the moon tree's future may no longer be waning. It's been trimmed, treated for bugs, and the soil compaction is being handled. The next step is better irrigation to give it the 275 gallons of water it needs each week. So the next generation of students can see a symbol of NASA's science experiments in space. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's not every school in Idaho or the country has a moon tree. If we can preserve it and help it to, to live on, that would be great. And not every tree has been up to the moon and back. No, they haven't. The fourth grade class in 2015 made a plaque with a rocket and a tree to commemorate the historic journey from the moon to the playground at Lowell. They were the, there were three seedlings, by the way, that did make it to Idaho. The one at Lowell, a Douglas fir that was planted at the Idaho State House, which we still don't quite know what happened to that tree, and we're trying to figure that out. And then there was a third, it was a sycamore, planted at the University of Idaho, but that somehow died right around 2014, we believe. We reached out to Boise Parks and Rec today to get an update on the Loblolly's health, but the city's forester is not available this week. However, according to Boise School District spokesman Dan Holler, a tree is still facing some health issues. An interesting note, though, from Holler is the reason the pine was planted at Lowell Elementary was because then Governor John Evans, we had a son attending Lowell at the time. By the way, the reason the seeds were on that Apollo mission, the module commander was a smoke jumper way back in the 50s before becoming a test pilot in the Air Force.